Real Girl Review. Follow me, guys. This is the part of the finger job right here. And this right here. Yeah, that's like one of the most historical things that you can do in Boston. Do the whole Freedom Trail. And the Freedom Trail is all throughout the city. So like anytime you see this, that means that you're on your way to the next destination. So this is the map of the Freedom Trail. Uh, I've actually done the whole thing several times. Some of the times, not intentionally. I was just walking a lot all over the city. It's actually a fun thing to do if you're really into history. But even if you're not, it's just really cool. So this is Bunker Hill Monument. That is one sucker to climb up, let me tell you. <laughs> I was so exhausted. And then it goes all the way here. Old North Church, Paul Revere House, Benoit Hall, which is where I'm headed for an early dinner right now. Uh, Boston Massacre site, which is right next to me right here. This is the site of the Boston Massacre. Turn left onto Congress Street. I'm also going to go to Old South Meeting House, the Public Garden in Boston Common, which is the oldest park in America. So, lots of history here. Oh, Birdman, pretty cool. Turn left onto Freedom Trail. So this is Fenwell Hall. We can go in, do some shopping, go to restaurants. So it's time for another adventure. Follow me. I'm headed to my early dinner at Oyster House, which is the oldest restaurant in the country. Isn't that pretty cool? But I must say, I'm a little like freaked out. There's like hardly anyone here. And I know I've said this like a thousand times, but I like, can't even get over it. I'm just not used to seeing the street so dead. This is downtown. House. What do you think? Should I have some oysters? I think it's the right thing to do. We're in Boston after all. Let's go inside. Let's have some grub. I always love the look of this place. It's so historic and it has a lot of its old charm. know me you know how much I love my seafood and this is a plate of heaven for me right now I got cherry stone clams oysters and shrimp cocktail this is a little seafood platter that they have here at Union Oyster House big boy this is a big boy two pounds of broiled lobster I never get tired of lobster I can eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it but like something about being in New England coming back from Florida just made me really really crave it right now yeah, this is how you know I'm getting serious putting on my bib. So one of the things when I go to a restaurant and they already crack the claws and everything, I'm like, no, don't do it. Because all of the precious lobster juice that is in the claw gets all over the place and it's a total waste. I like to actually drink the claw juice. I don't know about you guys, but like this is part of it for me. Opa. After I ate, I ventured upstairs to see more history. This is where Louis, King of France, was in exile. What a lovely restaurant. There's no one upstairs. I swear it was like a museum. Everywhere you look, there was something to read or look at. You really get a sense of historical Boston here.
It's always nice to come back to America's first restaurant, and now you can too on your trip to Boston. In Public Garden, one of my favorite spots it in look all like of Boston. Day today, but it really is. <laughs> Omni Parker House. And at first we were looking at a brick wall, so we went downstairs and they were able to change our room to something a bit more Boston. What's really cool about this hotel is that it is right in the heart of downtown, so you get the Freedom Trail. And I highly recommend this hotel if you're coming to experience Boston's history. Then this is the perfect hotel for you. For more adventures, follow me on social media and subscribe to realgirlreview.com. I promise not to spam you.